Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. My name is Esther. I'm giving my testimony for New Jersey in the United States of America. I have my son who I was 12 years plus. I gave birth to him. He was 27 weeks. When he was 2 years, the doctor told me that the eyes is badly damaged because of he was born preemie. And he referred me to the specialist. And he went to the specialist from that two years and they gave him an eye glass, which he was using. He been using that eye glass when he was five years. They referred me, we went back to the same Ghana, the eye doctor, who said the eye is not improving, rather it's getting worse and worse. And I asked him, what will we do? He said, surgery is not the solution. The only thing that he will wear the eyeglasses for 24 hours. Even when he's sleeping, he have to use the eyeglass. And I said, why would he use eyeglass to sleep? And I told my husband, we have to go for another second opinion. And I went for the second opinion. They only see us only one day, one time. And they refer us to another specialist. From that five years, I have moved to one specialist, to another specialist, to another specialist. Till so I moved, I said, let me decide to use my own eye doctor. And I took my son last year. That is the sixth specialist. I went to my eye doctor and the eye doctor see him and say, oh no, the eye is badly damaged that they can't see him anymore. He referred me again back to the same doctor when he was two years. I said, no, I don't want to see this doctor. He said, but there's another doctor. Then I choose that one. When we went there, the doctor said the same thing, that this eye is badly damaged. But I will do an eye patch for him. He did. They patched the eye for six months, yet no solution. I remember this year, we went back again. The doctor said, okay, they will change the lens. Then they change that lens and give us a different lens for him. And he told me that the surgery is not the solution. Nothing they will do. The only thing for him to wear that eyeglass. I said, okay. That day, I came out from my car and I wept. I said, God, what is going on? I thank God for my brother wife, Cynthia, who introduced me to this uh, NSPPD and I joined in August. And on the October 1st, I will never forget it, the reign of our blessing. Pastor Jerry mentioned, there is someone here. They said, one of your eye is badly damaged without repair. I don't know which part ah, of your eye that they ah, said is damaged beyond repair. Ah, is damaged beyond repair. Ah, the ah, devil is a liar. Ah, ah, as your ah, heaven ah, will turn, ah, the Lord is giving you a new eye. Hey, and I jump up and say, that is my son. That is my son. That is my son. And that particular day he went to school, there was a fire alarm in their school so when he was running he fell down and hit that eye on the ground the school called me and said your son hit his eye on the ground i said oh my goodness this eye that is having a problem is the same eye again he hit on the ground and i said then when he came back i said well, is there any problem he said no mommy there is no problem and I didn't even know that that glass they gave him was damaged. So the next day, I was taking him to school. I didn't see him putting on eyeglass. Where is your eyeglass? He said, Mommy, did my eyeglass damage? But Mommy, I can see everything clear. I said, do you mean what you are telling me? He said, yes, Mommy, everything. I can see everything clear. My fear when I was dropping him to school is that, oh, I pray that the school will not call me because I remember when he was seven years 
Seven years, when he lost his eyeglass, I took him to school. Immediately, the school called me. That they would charge me if I did not produce an emergency eyeglass. And I went straight to, to eyeglass people, produce that emergency eyeglass so that he can use it to go to school the next day. I was so afraid when he went to that school. And throughout that day, the school did not call me. One week, the school did not call me. Two weeks, the school did not call me. I say, God, my God have done what no one can ever do. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. This is 12 years plus. We are going from one eye doctor to another eye doctor. This is the seventh specialist eye doctor I have been to, yet no avail. But the God of mercy, the God of multiple congratulations in the month of October, remember me, Pastor Jerry. May God bless you. May God increase your oil. May your oil never dry. NSPPD, here I am.